The new helpline, which the Met says will put victims at the heart of policing, but does it go far enough? It will definitely improve the Met response to victims, but it won't change the overall experience that a victim has when they come into our very broken justice system. Also on the programme, how businesses around Euston Station say they won't survive because of delays to HS2. Plus, preparing for the doctor's strike next week, thousands of appointments are cancelled and... Preparing to play for the king, the harpist who will be performing at the coronation. A teenager who stabbed an 18-year-old Afghan refugee to death in a southwest London park has been sentenced to 10 years in prison. A jury at the Old Bailey found him not guilty of murder, but guilty of the lesser charge of manslaughter. Hazrat Wali was attacked in Twickenham in October 2021. The roof of a block of flats in South London has been ripped off during windy weather. London Fire Brigade was called to Tulse Hill after the aluminium roof of the three-storey building was left in a precarious position. There were no reports of any injuries. Lambeth Council says it's supporting residents with temporary accommodation. And young homeowners are the most likely to be financially stretched because of higher mortgage rates, according to the Financial Conduct Authority. The watchdog is warning that those living in London, where house prices are higher than the UK average, are likely to be under particular financial pressure.